All right, so let's talk about uh, failing ICV valves and what we'll call it, like what the symptoms are of them. Uh, you may he hear some birds chirping. That's my chickens, my baby chickens. Looks like they're sleeping now, but they may wake up, make some noise. If that's the case, oh well, just try to ignore it. That's what I do. <laughs> All right, so uh, ICVs. So symptoms of a bad ICV. So if you have a different car, you may have different symptoms. If, you, if and I don't talk about the symptoms, please add them below if you've seen them and you've experienced the same thing. So uh, for Hondas especially, uh, with the failing ICV, once it gets to the point where the ICV is shot and is not working at all, uh, you're going to get the P0505, which is a faulty ICV valve. Um, so before that happens, you'll see a couple different things. So normally it starts out with an irregular idle. That just means that like maybe the idle's not where it's like it comes down, hits the point where it should be, and it just kind of bounces a little bit. You know, you may see a little bit of irregular idle. A lot of times too, you may feel like the car kind of gets a little bit sluggish. Maybe it doesn't get as good gas mileage. Like your gas mileage goes to pot. It's usually ICV. So you'll see that you may see surging idle. Now, normally with surging idle, uh, especially on Hondas, because you have a vacuum leak somewhere. Like especially if you re you replace the the uh, gasket on the throttle body, it will like surge like rah, rah, rah. it's like you got the wrong gasket. Um, but for the ICV, you may see that also. So if it just kicks in and starts doing it, you can spray some uh, brake clean around the edges of the uh of the of the throttle body and if it doesn't like basically go to stall out then you know bad icv um, you can basically clean it and see if it fixes it now with all the stuff that i've seen usually it is low idle so low idle is in as in the car basically when you pull up to a stoplight it'll come down normally hit the spot where it's supposed to stay, sit there for a second, and all of a sudden it starts to drop and it doesn't actually stall, but it just kind of bounces really low. It starts to idle really low. The car is sluggish when you hit the gas to go to take off, takes a second, then it kicks in. Those are all symptoms of a dirty or failing ICV. So um, normally what you can do to rectify that is just try cleaning it. Um, now cleaning it may work, may not, just depends. We'll get into that in just a second. Now normally what will happen uh, to be able to know for definitely sure that you have a bad <laughs> ICV is the car will stall. So if you pull up to a stoplight, the car just stalls out completely. Now I've seen cars stall before and not throw a code, but normally what will happen is when your car stalls it will throw a check engine light and that's the dreaded p0505 which is the icv is faulty or bad so you can pull that code and then basically either try cleaning it or just buy another one so let's get into buying another one first uh, so for icvs especially for hondas make sure you get the right one <laughs> So manual transmission ICVs are always more expensive. I don't know why, they just are. The automatic ones are less expensive. Like you can get one for, I've seen them online for 30 bucks. This one was like 120. <clears throat> Which in the grand scheme of things, not really that expensive for a part, but if you can buy a $30 part, you know, I would always try that first. But with the ICV, it's not gonna work. So you might have to make sure that you have the correct ICV. Now, one thing you can try to do is clean them. So I made a video years ago about a 92 to 95. Usually you can just pop the ICV valve off on those suckers and just shoot brake clean in it. It'll basically just push out all the gunk and then you can slam it back on the car. It's not a, a fix, but it is a quick fix that might, it might last a week, it might last a day, could last a year. Uh, same thing if you're just cleaning one of these. So this is a this is a, a 96 to 2000. You'll see these. 
And um, with these, I recommend using a uh, an electronic cleaner, something that cleans uh, electronics. Um, so I would just spray it in there and try to get all the junk out of it because this is going to be caked with this garbage. So you blow that out and then basically put it back together onto the car and then you'll know immediately if it's going to work or not. Um, so definitely you can try those things as cleaning before you buy it and then you know spend a hundred and something bucks you know compared to wherever you buy it from. But uh, those are what I've seen as far as failing ICVs. If you know of any other vehicles or you experience things on other vehicles, definitely write that below, share the information so other people can find it. And, uh, you know, that way it, it'll help somebody out there not paying a mechanic, you know, uh, the freaking wazoo for something. Because to have this replaced at a, at a shop, it's going to cost you, like you're not going to leave a shop with less than 500 bucks, you know, to replace a part that could cost you a buck 20. You know, and they aren't too hard to install. So, hopefully that helps somebody. You guys take it easy. Have a good one. Peace.